Hi, and welcome to this walkthrough of the 2023 CLE annual report process. To begin the process, you need to go to your member portal, portal.ncbar.gov. Put in your bar number and password. If you don't know your password, you can click the forgot password link and a uh, temporary password will be emailed to your email address on file. Once you're logged in, you'll see the banner at the top that says your 2023 annual report is due. Click here to file your annual report. Click that button. That'll take you into the annual report. On the first page are some instructions. Once you verify that you've read those instructions, click I acknowledge, save next. This year, we are collecting voluntary pro bono reporting for the Equal Access to Justice Commission and the Pro Bono Resource Center. Uh, it's voluntary to put in uh, what you've uh, pro bono hours you've done in 2023. So you can select from the drop down, click Save Next. This will take you to your 2023 exemption page. Uh, if you have one of these exemptions noted, click Yes on the exemption. There might be additional questions that they ask. If you have no exemptions, check the No Exemptions box at the top and continue. This year, we're also doing the 2024 exemption process in this annual report. So if during 2024, you qualify for one of these exemptions, uh, select it just as you did for 2023. If you get exempt later in the year, we can change it in our portal and with the CLE department. You're next gonna be taken to your compliance summary, which only reflects hours that you've taken through the end of December, 2023. It will not show anything you've taken in, 20, in January or February, 2024. If you need to add courses that you took in 2023 that were not on your record, you can search the directory and add those courses. This is not a place for you to add courses you've taken in January and February of 2024. If you need to upload additional information, you can do that on this page, uh, a course application or a teacher's application for credit. If there's nothing to upload, hit Save Next, and you'll be taken to the verification page that will show you all the information that you just submitted. And you'll need to review that and then check at the bottom that the information is correct. Again, if, if your record is not showing courses that you have taken in the grace period of January and February, it is okay. This is only showing courses that you've taken through the end of December 2023. Check the box, hit continue. In this process, we're also collecting the annual CLE attendance fee for 2024, which was a part of the new CLE rules changes. Instead of a $3.50 per hour fee that we will charge, we're collecting a flat $25 fee for any lawyers who are not exempt in 2024. If you are exempt in 2024, this page will not pop up. Uh, if, it, if you want to pay with a credit card, there'll be a convenience fee, but you can also pay with an e-check with no convenience fee added. And make your payment, and that will submit your annual report. You'll get a, a receipt uh, emailed to you as well, and you'll be able to print this report from this page and access it, uh, uh, show in the portal that you've completed it. Uh, it. It will appear. If you have questions about this CLE process, we have a live CLE uh, town hall on Monday, February 5th at 10.30 on our YouTube channel. We'll be walking through this process and answering any questions about this process and the CLE uh, changes, all of the CLE rules changes. We hope you'll join us then. Uh, additional questions, you can contact the CLE department or call the State Bar 919-828-4620. Thank you.